everybody! Today's look is awesome. Sorry, I just really freaking love this eye look. So I'm gonna show you how to do it in this video. And the stars of the show are my MAC Rose Pigment and my Lorac Pro 2 palette. So this is a pairing of that beautiful, highly shimmery rose shade and some matte navy blue. I just love the way it comes together, so I hope you like it too. I just applied some Milani eyeshadow primer all over the surface of the eye area just to get started, because we're not actually beginning with the pigment part. I wanna lay down sort of a base of color first so that can really stand out. I've practiced this look a few times and I've kind of messed with the sequence of the shades I'm applying and I think this is the way I like it best to help the pigment stand out but yet everything looks kind of blended. So I'm going to begin with my Lorac Pro 2 palette and this light brown shade taking my Sigma E25. And that shade is just going right here in the crease, very simple, just back and forth all the way from the innermost part to the outer part. Really just kind of accentuating that natural shadow that's already there. Then using a fluffy bare brush, this is my E40, I'm just going to blend over the edge of that. And I'm going to take buff with that brush and I'm going to apply that just under the eyebrow and kind of along the edge of the light brown. Then I'm going to use just a little bit of Nectar, this peachy shade, again with the E25. And that's going right in here, kind of just above where light brown was. So that was the neutral phase of this look. Now we're bringing in some pink and I am using um, one of these Maybelline color tattoos. This is an inked in pink. Um, I'm using this as my base for the pigment. I find that this is able to grab that loose shimmery product really well. And you're gonna wanna put this over pretty much the whole lid. And then here is my MAC Pigment in Rose. This is the 239 from MAC, and it works really well, I think, for laying down this pigment. So I'm just gonna pick up some of that very carefully. Um, you know, we're gonna go a little at a time here. Don't overload the brush. And I'm just going to begin patting that right on top of where we put the color tattoo. And my thought with this is that I want some of the navy to come in and kind of overlap. So um, I'm applying this probably to three quarters of my lid here. Why not add a little bit more? I'm making myself feel like the pioneer woman, you know how she keeps adding butter to stuff. I keep adding <laughs> rose pigment to stuff. I do love watching her show on Saturday morning, so it's my new Saturday morning cartoon. So I'm happy with the way that looks, and then, as promised, so you catch a small shadow brush, and I'm going to this gorgeous navy shade right here in my Laurent Pro 2. The first place you put your brush is where the most shadow is going to lay down, so we're going to do this right here on the outer part of the lid, and I'm kind of wedging this shade up into the crease also, but I'm slowly working my way inward a little bit. So I'm starting to overlap some of the rows, and I think it's just a beautiful thing when this matte navy comes in contact with the rose pigment. It just does something really special. Not to get too deep or anything, but I love it. And then something I love doing with this brush is just flipping it around. We want to make sure the deepest part of this shadow is right here in the crease and on the lid because we will be kind of shearing that out a little bit on the outer part. Going into that navy again but with a very wispy brush. This is my E36. And I'm normally using this for lighter transition type shades but now we're actually going to use this brush to help us kind of shape the um, the way this navy is coming off here, like give us a little bit of a very soft outer V. And blue can be a tricky shade to use in this manner, I think. Um, you know, it's great packed on, but to wear navy blue in a soft way, I think can be a bit of a challenge. So I'm doing this with like the teeniest amount of product on my brush, and you see how I'm kind of working that outer V shape as if it's pointing to the outer part of my eyebrow right here. And of course, you've got your friend the bare brush to bring in to uh, soften everything up if you need to. I like to let my liquid liner kind of set the stage for what I'm going to do on the lower lash line. So I'm using my Jordana Color Envy. Yes, I got a fresh one. I ordered three of these off of the Jordana website. This shade is Black Envy and I just love this liquid liner. Brush tip applicator, really smooth, dark, matte. Just starting in the inner corner there, pulling across. And I do think a wing kind of uh, accentuates the shadow shape we're going with today, so I am winging it out a little bit. Winging, 
Hard to say. <laughs> I sounded a little Dr. Evil-ish there. Magma. So nothing huge. That's my typical wing size, I would say. In the lower inner rim, I'm taking a true blue liner. I think there's a lot of darkness happening here and a heavy lash, but the blue in the lower inner rim kind of brightens up the whites of your eyes somewhat. So this is the Jane liner in Midnight Blue. By the way, I'm not seeing Jane on Ulta's website anymore. Has it already been phased out? I think you can still get Jane on the Jane Cosmetics website, but anywho. Any blue liner that you like. I think NYX has a nice true blue slide-on liner. Um, I'm also just kind of dabbing this in between the lashes on the actual skin. Stiff angled brush going into navy. Blend up to our wing right there and overlap some of the eyeliner. And then I'm using my pencil brush and basically just kind of combining a little bit of charcoal and navy and that's going to be what I do on the whole rest of the lower lash line. And now here's the part in tutorials where I start second guessing the uh, <laughs> level of darkness from one eye to the other. It's a problem when you do one eye first. Curling lashes and then using Tarte's Gifted Mascara here. Just getting a little bit of that on the lashes to act as kind of a base for the falsies. This is CoverGirl Clump Pressure Water Resistant on the lower lashes. This is the Coco brand lash number 201. The reason why I love uh, a lash with this look, I think it's pretty even without lashes, but I kind of love the peekaboo effect. You know, you don't really see that high shimmer with the with your eyes open, but then you look down and it's like that pretty just pop of something. Should that be the name of this tutorial, pop of something? And just getting these lashes placed here. There's something that just feels good about it snowing outside and me being inside doing makeup. So to finish things off, I just did one quick dab of mascara there to blend the real and fake lashes. And that is the eye look. I've really, really enjoyed playing with these new MAC pigments that I've gotten my hands on in that little set. This is the set, by the way, that Rose came in. I talked about this in my MAC haul video, but I'm loving these. And just to let you know a few other key products that I used in this look, I used this Highlight and Contour Pro Palette from NYX, which I am loving. This shade right here is my contour, and I think I got a pretty fierce contour happening today. My blush is this Milani Romantic Rose Powder Blush. Good lord do I love this shade. It doesn't look that exciting maybe here in the product. I mean this is gorgeous but the shade itself you know might not seem like anything too must-have-ish but I love just that neutrally pink look. Did I just say must-have-ish? What is my deal today? <laughs> my highlight is this Becca uh, Shimmering Skin Perfector. This is the liquidy version, the mini size from that trio in pearl. My lip is Too Faced Melted in Melted Nude. That's pretty much most of the color you see coming off of here, but I do have a little bit of my Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in Spice, just a little bit around the edges to help define things. But that's all. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial, and I will see you again next time. Bye!